YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Today we're going to take a look at something new that just appeared in our ANBL liquor stores. Something that just sprouted like mushrooms in the last couple weeks. It is Hop City Brewing Co's Barking Squirrel Lager. Now, Hop City Brewing Co is an independently run, but still, under the same umbrella as the Moosehead Brewing Co. They are a new craft beer division from Brampton, Ontario, which uh, I guess was formerly the Niagara Falls Brewing Co., which is an arm of the Moosehead Brewery that was purchased, oh man, uh, many, many moons ago. I don't 100% know the exact history of this product. Uh, I believe it came out in around 2009, and it just uh, hit much wider production and just recently started appearing here in Moosehead's uh, home province in New Brunswick. So, this particular type of beer is an amber, or I believe a, it could be considered a Vienna lager. <clears throat> this is um, Welcome to Hop City, where we brew beer with equal parts flavor, complexity, and sessionability. Barking Squirrel Lager has a 24 IBU amber lager brewed with a blend of Hallertau, Middle Fru, and Saz Halt hops. Perfectly balanced by Canadian Pale Two Row, Crystal, and Munich Malts. Mmm, 5.5% ABV. Or sorry, 5% ABV. Um, I've had a chance already to have a couple of these. I, this came in a six pack and I was able to uh, you know, sample a cu couple while I was sick with the cold and still partly sick with the cold and my taste buds are back at least. Um, looking at that, it's actually got a really nice Hop City cap. I've saved that one. I've already kept a few. <coughs> anyway, uh, let's give it a pour here. So yeah, they, right now I believe these come in either six packs, or there's still some in the bottle. That's a nice head on it. Or in uh, 700, uh, sorry, 473 milliliter cans, um, <clears throat> which is really nice to be able to buy them in singles. But it's worth picking up in the six pack. So looking at that, it had a gratuitous amount of head, two fingers, and that's because I didn't even pour it completely into the bottle. Let's see which kind of head retention she's got. Oh yeah, you can kick up a nice little sticky head there. And I love the amber color on this. It's got an off-white head, almost like eggshell white. Slightly kind of a creamy consistency. The bubbles are kind of uh, uh, fine in appearance, and it's starting to take on a pillowy appearance in the center as it starts to die off. But uh, And there's a lot of carbonation in there as well. This isn't like a, a, a glass with an etching in the middle. It's actually got a lot of carbonation streaming up in the middle of the glass here. Hold it closer and you can see. <clears throat> oh, excuse me here. I'm still rough in the throat. <clears throat> anyway, um, looking at that, that's a beautiful looking beer. And I'm actually really impressed that, that, that that's a Moosehead product because generally they don't have that kind of head retention. It almost appears from the appearance side of things that at least Moosehead's taking things a little seriously here. Anyway, let's give it a sniff. So off the top of that, it's definitely got that big herbal, very herbal uh, smell. Subtly metallic. Like a combination of copper coin and herbal smells like noble hops and maybe a hint of British in there as well. Mainly I'm getting that almost Pilsner-y style smell, which is also a suitable hop aroma for a, a, a Vienna style lager, <clears throat> which I believe this is. <clears throat> um, it does have a big metallic kind of smell it's very, it, that's very akin to like Alpine, but it's much, much stronger in this one. And it, it kind of blends in with that whole, that it, it's more that herbal sense. It kind of gives you this big copper coin smell. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's more of an herbal kind of scent. It's very German in origin. <coughs> Alright. Um, there's a hint of sweetness to it, which indicates like a nice sweet caramel to the malt. But it smells very nice. Down the hatch. The bitterness to it sticks into the back a little. Um, a little metallic. Uh, it's it, quite a bit er, quite a bit of earthiness to it, and it also comes across as being a little um, oh herbal. Kind of like it tastes very much so like your your standard herbal hop. 
like your noble hops and blend it in with this the uh, that hoppy bitterness is a lingering caramel malt flavor to it which almost has like a fruity character a fruity like a red apple kind of fruity character that blends really well in with that that hop character it's definitely a medium bodied beer weighs a little bit heavier than you might expect um, well I guess it for this style it weighs perfectly but I can't see that this one here is you know overly complex or anything it's nice and clean um, well <coughs> I guess what I want to say is that it's almost crisp it's not quite like creamy or anything it tastes like a very good representation of a, of a Vienna lager but maybe not quite as good as like Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Um, it's still a very good product. I like it. I think I'm going to call this one right now. I'm going to give this a 3.75. I really like it, but I don't like it as much as like Sam Adams Boston Lager. But for somebody who's looking for a decent craft lager, um, you can't go wrong with Barking Squirrel. Um, it's kind of expensive for a six pack. Uh, it's like $14 here for six of them. Uh, so I, I guess I'd take that into consideration before you pick up a six pack. But if you're looking for something new to try and you like your deeper lagers, then this one is one that's certainly worth to giving a try. Yeah. Anyway, so that's Maxwell Stairs beer review of uh, Hop City Barking Squirrel Lager. Hope you enjoyed watching this review and uh, tune in next time. We've got more beer in the fridge. Talk to you soon. Cheers.